Oh, that's not how I stop it. God damn it, this camera. Hello. Hello. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a makeup look with the new Bloodlust palette. I'm sure you guys have heard loads about it, but basically we're gonna try some stuff out, some colors. I have it on right now, and you guys can see how I create my colors and how all over the place I am when I have a new palette and don't know how to start or begin to make cool stuff with it. But yeah guys, keep watching and we're gonna hit to the video now. So I have my main face makeup finished, so we're gonna get into the eye makeup now. And I know it looks super weird with just eyebrows on. I usually wear lighter eyebrows if I have no eye makeup on, but it's gonna get there. Here is the beautiful beast, right here. It's the size of my face. It's amazing. And I will say guys, I have not used this yet. I got it like two days ago, but I ended up having to stay late in work. So I wasn't actually able to film the video until now. Basically, it's just been sitting here in my room and I just look at it and I haven't used it and I'm like, I have to wait for the video to try it out first. If you guys are interested in Jeffree Star's makeup and you've seen anything like this before, it's like another level. Like, look at that. Like. It is just beautiful. So we're gonna take it out, and then here she is. It is probably like the most beautiful palette I've ever seen. And then wait, hang on, we gotta do the big reveal. We gotta do the big reveal. Okay, hang on, it's gonna have plastic and stuff on it, but like, ah, let's get through this stuff. I haven't even taken the plastic off the front of it yet, uh, yet guys, because I was like waiting to do it with you. Let's take the plastic off so you can see the shades properly. Now I have like swatched them, because I was like, I can't not at least swatch them because the colors are so me. Like even everyone, everyone I've shown this to has been like, that's literally you in a palette. And I'm like, I know, I know, they're just beautiful. And I haven't taken the screen, the mirror thing off yet. So I'm gonna do that now as well. Just get a bit of... Lovely. You guys can just see my bed in the background with the mirror. Oh, it's so much nicer to know that plastic is gone. Okay, so here we are. I don't know what kind of look I want to do yet. Looking at it, I know there's a couple colors that I will definitely have to use. Like this one, I can show you. It's called Wet Jewel. And it's this one here. And this is the one that I'm probably going to use the most. Probably ones like Pink Magic. Oh my, I'm just going to use all of them all the time. Like they're, they're so perfect for me. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. What I'm going to use first. Oh my God. Okay. This is overwhelming. When I first get a palette, I'm always like, what do I do with it? Because I don't know which colors go together super well yet. Whereas if I've had a palette for a while and I use it all the time, then I have like go-to looks and I know what things go together and stuff. But when I get a new one, I'm a bit like, how do I... How do I begin? I'm gonna have to swatch some to kind of make a decision. To make an informed decision. So I'm gonna swatch this dungeon color. That's the real dark. I think there's a color in here that's kind of like one of those bruisey purples. And I think I might end up using that one. Oh man, this is hard. This is gonna be very, very hard. Should we just go wild and do something like crazy? So I'm gonna dip into, I think Blood Queen, to be honest. This is so hard. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into Vivid Mood first and kind of put that in my crease. Oh my God, I'm finally using it and it looks so weird. Now, most people put like a base down of like color before, oh my eyebrow hurts, before they like get into it. But I find that kind of makes the pigment not as good. Now I'm trying to get the best lighting for you guys, but the lighting in this room isn't great because of where my, my uh, light source, light, light source is. It's from my window and it doesn't angle into my room very well. So you're gonna see the left eye a lot better. Already the pigment is crazy. Oh my God, that's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh my God, I'm so like, what do I use? I'm like, I swatched some on my hand and I'm just kind of going off of those. I know I want to use Wet Jewel on the main part of my face. I might use this turquoise underneath my eye. Yeah, I'm going in with that turquoise for underneath my eye. Or is it more of a teal? Oh, it's beautiful. It's like the ocean. God, that's like one of the most beautiful colors I've ever seen in my life. I just want to keep putting it on. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So I like that I've got this kind of like blown out purple going on up here, but I want to make it a bit more interesting. I'm sorry, but like I just can't wait to use the wet jewel, so I'm like, I'm gonna use it now, but I'm gonna use my finger. Oh my god. Can you see that? Okay. Oh. 
Oh my god. I'm just taking a little bit of the royal pain and kind of blending into that pinky sparkle. And then I'm gonna go back in and put a little bit more in, but I'm just getting like a color. A nice color that the kind of sets into it, makes it blend a bit better. A lot of the times when I get a new palette, I'm always like super afraid to use it, even though that's what it's for. I'm just like, it's too nice. I can't use it. And then I don't use it for ages. And they're like, why aren't you using your palette? And I'm like, it's too nice. Because <laughs> I hate like getting in there and ruining all the uh, all the nice stamps and stuff. So I'm using Wet Jewel there, but I'm going to use Pink Magic on my inner corner as well. Or I'll use Beauty Sleep. Hang on, I'm not showing you these guys, guys when I'm doing it. So where's Beauty Sleep? Beauty Sleep is this one. And I've used this one on my like main part of my eye. And this one I'm, like, I'm going to use, I think, for my inner corner. This is the teal that I put underneath my eye. This is the purple that I've used as the base. And this is the one that I'm using to kind of like shade into with the, the pink. Oh, we're gonna use, get back on my lap. We're gonna use Beauty Sleep again, going in for the finger. Oops. Oh, sweet mother. <laughs> oh, it's got like gold reflex. That's beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys properly in a second. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful so far. I want to add more. I'm going to take Blood Queen, which is like a darker Barney purple, and go right in uh, on the crease to kind of give it some oomph. I need to actually add a little bit more of that Royal Pain. Now I'm going to take Dungeon, which is kind of like a dark color, which is just there. Yeah, that one there. And I'm going to put that in the crease to make it kind of look a little bit darker. I'm actually going to take the smaller part of my brush and go in with that color just to get a more defined line. This is looking absolutely great so far. So this is what I've done so far. Nice and smoky. Hopefully blended enough. Um, and then I think I want to go in with Executioner, which is that kind of like dark purpley black with like loads of pink speckles in it and go over this area again. She's absolutely pigmented 100%. Oh wow. So what I'm going is I'm dipping into Blood Queen and kind of blending with it to try and like soften it. I will say the purple, the pink flecks in it are difficult to like come out if you're blending it. Like you put it on and then there's the sparkles and then when you blend it, it kind of, kind of go away. That's the only thing. I'm also going to take a little bit more. Wait, what's Sworn Enemy look like? Oh, she's thick. Oh. I haven't used Pink Magic yet. My hands are just covered in sparkles. I'm just covered in sparkles and I'm not mad at it. So I'm just taking a little bit of Pink Magic. I'm just putting it directly underneath my eyeball and just dragging it down. Now guys, that is, um, I'm pretty happy with that as the, um, finished eye look in a way. I have to add eyeliner and stuff to it. Try and get you a better look at those sparkles. Look at that. I'm gonna just quickly do my mascara and eyeliner and then we can see the actual final, the actual final look. Most people I feel would wear like fake eyelashes with a look like this, but I never really like to wear fake eyelashes. My eyelashes are pretty long. I think, so I don't really see the need to, but I used to wear fake eyelashes all the time. I just can't handle the glue, it never works. Shape of my eye is never, the shape of my eye never works with eyelashes because eyelashes usually go like this, whereas my eyes are like this. So it's just, ne they're never gonna sit correctly. This, oh my, the part that goes right here always flicks up and there's just no way of fixing it. So I really wanna try those magnetic lashes. Those ones look like they'll be great because I do put a pretty thick thing of eyeliner on, so. So that is the finished look, guys. I'll definitely do a close-up so you can see it properly, but that is my first look with the Bloodlust palette. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna use it every goddamn day. It doesn't help that I have the two, the two, hang on, the two others, because now I have too many choices. And that's what my dad said. He was like, you already have at least two, at least. Do you really need another one? And I'm like, yes, of course I need another one. I always need another one. So here is the final look, guys, with much better lighting. Let me know what you guys think below and if you like it. God, that looks just great, isn't it? That looks lovely. Let me zoom. Let me zoom. Let me zoom out. <laughs> 
thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you guys are interested to see what new stuff I have coming on my channel. Also hit the notification bell just so you guys can know when I post my new videos. You can also follow me on my social media handles. I'll leave them up here on the screen somewhere and I'll leave them down in the description down below as well. You can see my kind of daily life, what I get up to, my doggos, all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!